everybody and welcome back to Code Review Guru. My name is Light and we're back at it with Hacker 101 Capture the Flag. So in the previous uh, videos, I went ahead and captured two flags, um, one with cross-site scripting and that was found in the page creation. The second one, because I wrote it down, was basically finding a private page and going back through, you know, indexing the pages and and basically seeing a private page and then boom now we're just like I think I found it yeah I edited that I found a way to edit that private page and get the flag so this next one um, was very annoying it was also a cross-site scripting vulnerability exploit and yeah I I was on it for a long time because I just refused to use the uh, the flat, uh, what is it called? The hints, so they give hints. I refuse to use those hints early on. It's it's supposedly easy, so I'd rather use it for a moderate or hard one. I'd rather not use a hint for an easy one, but that's just me and my ego. So, um, in any case, let me just go ahead and show you how I found it. Found this flag. So, like I said, this one was really annoying. Um, and let me zoom in here. There we go. Cool. Um, this was a very, very annoying uh, flag to capture. And the reason why it was annoying was because it was hidden so well. Uh, I had to get a little creative with this one. And I do some research. And the reason why I had to do some research because I was really gun-ho about there being cross-site scripting in the beginning. And because of that, I was like, oh, let me go ahead and just do cross-site scripting everywhere. But uh, there's only a few places you can actually do that when you, when you see, like, yeah, edit this, you know, edit this page, go to this page, and you edit this page. Um, and anywhere you technically see an input field is where you think to immediately just say, oh, let me do, like, a cross-site scripting uh, exploit. Um, there weren't that many, so I ran out of options quick. And even when I created some pages and tried to do the same thing, it just, I mean, it was just really, come on, like find something new. Um, so I had to get creative and I had to think about what exactly a cross-site scripting exploit is um, or a vulnerability is. And when I think about it, it's just uh, another malicious injection, but instead of being more towards the server side, it's more towards the user, and the user just is unsuspecting. They'll do anything. Like, they'll, they'll just go about the page like it's a regular page, and then boom, not a vulner, not a, 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 maybe an alert box or something comes up. And when I thought about that, and put that in my mind like what would be a very unsuspecting place for me to think about you know being jumped by a vulnerability you know I don't know um and it dawned on me so I went to markdown test and I looked at this stupid button like I really hated this button this button bothered me because it was so random like it's such a random button it doesn't do anything and I was thinking if I just clicked on that button and something just popped out at me, like, boom, I'd be a victim, right? <laughs> so let me let me see what I can do about it to, if, if, if I was a hacker, like, since I have to be one in this scenario, let me see how I would exploit this. So basically what I did, knowing that it's a button, I went to, um, first I went to, uh, page source but you know I couldn't edit it from there so I went to actually edit it in the page and well what do you know it's some HTML right there so I was like what can you do with a button you could click it and when you do something it's something should happen when you click it I, so that's what I did I decided to type in a command on click and do an alert All right so I uh, alert and I'm just going to say hello. All right, so um, button, when you click the button, basically that's what on click means, uh, you'll get an alert that says hello. So I saved it. I was like, oh, this is going to be easy peasy. 
click. Man, I wish y'all would have saw my face the first time I did that. I was just like, ain't no flag. Oh, we got issues. Um, so me, I wound up changing it a couple times, and it bothered me because I just just couldn't get it. And then finally, I went back to the basics and said, what's the first thing I do when I go to um, when I find uh, when I look at a page? What's the first thing I do? Page source. So after I did that um, and played around and did a whole bunch of other stupid stuff. I went to page source and boom, there's a flag. So, uh, and here also, here's my on click, my alert, hello. So it did render. So, yay, that's the third flag. And I'm going to go in and throw that in there because I think that's actually my fourth flag. But I'm going to go back and show y'all what I guess your fourth flag would be. So, I'll see you in the next video.